Why are we getting told that Jesus is at the temple? Why at that age? It's not difficult at all to see that there is a link to the bar mitzvah of today. And the question is why? And I think we cover it enough in, the, in that chapter of the book where we literally note that this is, Jesus becomes an adopted son of the commandment or of the Torah which is beautiful and why that's necessary is because we obviously believe that Jesus is not out of step with Torah, yeah. that he loved it, that he lived by it. And I think I've told you this before, if the Jesus that's presented in the Gospels in any way stepped aside from Torah, I would be the first one to reject him as a candidate yeah. for Messiah. Jesus becomes a son of the commandment of God. Yeah. You know, now, whether or not you want to call that a bar mitzvah or not, doesn't even matter. The fact is, Jesus became subject to Torah yeah. in an official ceremony. And that, that's a big deal. That's, a, that's not something Gentile believers in Jesus need to be afraid of. That's something no. that can actually give them comfort. And hopefully that's what they find when they read our book. Somebody pointed out a story in Genesis that I had read many times and had never made the connection, and that's Abraham throwing a feast when Isaac reaches the age of about 12 or 13. Right. And um, the interesting thing about it, we go into this in the book, is that the Hebrew there says that Isaac grew and became a camel. <laughs> Gamal, right? And, I, and I'm like, what, on, what are you talking about? Well, of course, it's, it's figurative, right? What they're saying is Isaac reached the point of maturity where he could go and live among all these Canaanites who rejected the Torah. And Abraham could see from the way he tested him and the way he'd raised him that Isaac would carry the torch forward. And so that's why he throws the feast. Because otherwise, you know, the English says Isaac grew and was weaned. Which mm, right. the only time we use that word is to describe when a baby stops drinking breast milk. If you think of modern times, if parents, and this is culturally, I mean, stereotypically accurate, is that you'll have certain cultures that if you ask the parents, what do you want your child to grow up to be? Doctor. They must be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. Because there's some sort of honor in that, there's some sort of status in that, there's security, there's a sense of you've achieved something. Okay, and that happens in various cultures. In in Jewish culture from the first century, that would have been to become a scholar of Torah. And I don't mm. know how many ways we need to explain this to tell people just how huge of a magnitude that was. Because... In becoming a student of Torah and becoming a rabbi, effectively, a teacher of Torah, you um, were not just a religious leader. You were actually like a, almost a member of parliament. You were a political activist. You, you were a community builder. You were, it's a big deal. Being the yeah. rabbi was not just about being super spiritual. So yeah. parents would want that. Parents would want their boys to grow up to be rabbis. It's, it's a logical thing. 